Hello, Ravens fans, and welcome to another edition of the Spotlight Ravens series. I'm Aaron Schneider, the Sports Information Director at Anderson University, and joining us from the men's tennis team entering his sophomore year is Corey Evans. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, for those who don't know, um, so Corey, he, Corey's entering his sophomore year. He is a um, he went one and one for the number three doubles and um, during his freshman year, and he also primarily competed on our number four spot for the on the singles team. First, to kick things off, what is your uh, major and minor? My major is math education with a minor in computer science. Okay, and then who is your inspiration and why? Um, in athletics, my inspiration is my Aunt Kelly. She's in Blue River High School's Hall of Fame. She's their second all-time leading scorer in basketball, and she received a scholarship and played softball in college. And her nickname was Dr. K, so I'm trying to follow in her footsteps through tennis. And in life, my dad is my inspiration. Uh, he knows everything there is to know about electronics, handiwork, vehicles, uh, how to manage money, uh, how to be a good dad, uh, basically anything that could be considered important, he's an expert at, and I just hope I can be as smart as him one day. Okay. Um, what is your driving force slash motivation? Uh, my driving force is that I just love the sport of tennis. Uh, I love being on the court, and I love noticing my improvement. Uh, I love feeling the feeling of hitting a good forehand or sprinting after and getting to a hard-to-reach ball. Uh, I always want to be on a tennis court, and I would spend all day on a court if I had nothing else to do. So I'd say my driving force is just uh, my love for tennis. All right. Um, what is your favorite aspect about sports and why? My favorite thing about sports is the feeling of pressure. Uh, I love when you know that the team is depending on you for a win, and you have a really important point, and being able to respond to that pressure and get a big win is one of the best feelings in the world. Uh, I also love that feeling of when you're completely out of energy and you've been pushed to your limit and you feel like you don't have anything left to give. And when you're able to find that extra energy and motivation that you didn't think you had, it's an incredible feeling that I can't get enough of. Yeah, and, this, and especially in tennis, it's kind of, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty well defined on what the where the pressure situations are. So I'm sure that only magnifies that. Um, what is your favorite non-athletic memory at Anderson? I'd say uh, being a part of the honors program, it's been a great experience. Uh, our class has lots of fun together. We all get along really well and our discussions always have a lot of energy. So I'm really glad I decided to be a part of it. All right, and then what is your favorite athletic memory at Anderson? Uh, I'd say my favorite athletic memory was my first college tennis match. Uh, I was playing at number three singles, and I started my college career with a good win, and that win gave me confidence that I can be a successful tennis player in college, and that confidence has stayed with me to this day. All right, um, going in, changing a little gears for a little bit on the team superlative type questions. First, who on the team is best dressed? Uh, it's pretty difficult to pick one person for best dressed. So I think there's three people that always wear some great outfits. That would be Austin Hostetler, Colton Stevens, and Jesse Hernandez. So who on the team is the best dancer? Um, I think the best dancer would be Parker Bradley. Uh, sometimes he's a little hesitant to show off his moves, but once he starts dancing, it's pretty impressive. Okay. Who on the team is the joker slap prankster best sense of humor? Uh, there's a lot of pranksters on the team, but my answer would be Dane Houston. The two of us have a little rivalry going. I remember in the fall at our first match, I was taking a nap in between matches and Dane dumped a whole five gallon container of water on me. Uh, but you know, I love it. It's all in good fun. Okay. Um, who on the team is most outgoing? I think Bradley Rothar is the most outgoing. He was our only senior, and he was kind of our leader, and he's a really sociable guy, and we're all going to miss him next year. 
Okay. Um, who on the team is the best trash talker? Uh, I definitely can't pick just one person to be the best trash talker because there's so many of us that talk trash all the time. Uh, Colton Stevens, Peter Hallam, and Dane Houston are all professional trash talkers, in my opinion. Uh, once they really get going, it's very entertaining to watch and listen to, especially when they're going at each other because it'll keep going on the entire practice. All right. Um, who on the team is the pregame DJ? I'd say Seth Nation is usually the one that picks the songs on the way to matches, but we all make suggestions and he usually plays most of them. All right. And then, um, and then if, do you guys at all have a go-to pregame song? We don't necessarily have a go-to pregame song, but I think the song we play the most that everyone loves is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. All right. Uh, We've probably played that song on the way to every match. You guys break, uh, break out the um, Wayne's World when you do that? <laughs> yeah, uh, a few of us do. All right. Um, let's see. Going into, a, going into the next segment of questions. First, what, it, um, what is your favorite quote? My favorite quote is, My belief is stronger than your doubt by Dwayne Wade. Uh, I've always loved this quote because there's always going to be people that doubt you or don't believe that you can do something. And that doesn't really matter. Your belief is the only thing that matters. And if you truly believe that you can do something and you work hard at it, you can get it done. Um, other people's doubts should never be stronger than your own belief. Okay. Um, who is your favorite professional athlete? Uh, my favorite athlete is Rafael Nadal. Uh, he's one of the best tennis players of all time, and I like him because he has the best fighting spirit of any player I've seen. Uh, he never gives up on any point and never quits no matter how badly he may be losing. And I try to play with that same kind of mentality. All right. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Uh, when I was young, I used to check it out from the library and watch it basically every month. And watching it today as an adult, it still holds up. It's still a really good movie. All right. Um, other than the sports, other than, other than tennis, what is your favorite sport? Uh, my favorite sport besides tennis is definitely basketball. I played basketball all throughout elementary school middle school, and my first two years of high school before I decided to focus on tennis. Uh, my senior year, I also ran track, and I really enjoyed that experience. All right. Um, what is your favorite TV show? Um, in terms of comedies, The Office and Brooklyn Nine-Nine are definitely my favorite shows to watch. Uh, outside of comedies, my favorite show is This Is Us, which tells an incredible story that's really well written, and it's just a really good show. All right. Um, what is your favorite, what is your favorite sports team? My favorite sports team is the Miami Heat. Uh, I've been a fan ever since they won their first championship in 2006 with Dwayne Wade and Shaquille O'Neal. And we're looking really good right now with Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo leading the team. All right. Um, what is the strangest nickname you have? I have a lot of nicknames, but the strangest one would have to be Hatchet Man. So Hatchet Man is someone that is hired for an attack. And I was a, a linebacker in middle school football. And my coach gave me that nickname because I was really good at getting to the quarterback when they put me in a blitz. So he would say, Hatchet Man takes out the quarterback again and stuff like that. All right. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is Blue Moon. And I think it's hilarious that every single person in my family that has tried it absolutely hates it, but I can't get enough of it. Oh, okay, so what does that cons what does it consist of? Um, I real it's really hard to explain. It's not like my grandma thought it would be like cotton candy, but uh, she tried it and she's like, "That's nothing like cotton candy." And uh, I I really can't describe it. It's yeah. Most people hate it. But, is, there uh, is there a common color at least? Uh, it's, it's blue. It's completely blue. Okay. All right. All right. So what is your favorite thing to do outside of, your, um, outside of tennis? 
there's three things that I love to do in my free time. First, I love to play basketball. I've played it my whole life, and I love playing pickup games with my friends. Uh, second, I love to play video games. I play games from lots of different genres, and I love getting immersed in the worlds that these developers create. And the third thing I love to do is, like most people, binge watch TV shows. All right. Um, what hobby would you get into if time weren't an issue? I would love to get into golf because it's a sport that I respect a lot. I think there are a lot of similarities between golf and tennis and they're both able to be enjoyed by basically anyone, regardless of your age or physical capabilities. And I think golf would just be a great way to relax if I'm stressed out and need to take my mind off of things. Okay. Um, let's see, going, going back to, um, to some other questions. What are your favorite, um, what are your favorite hobbies? Uh, my favorite hobby is playing video games. Uh, I'm not really a fan of online multiplayer games. I prefer great single player experiences. And some of my favorite video game series are The Legend of Zelda, Uncharted, and Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Um, what is a little known but amazing fact about yourself? Uh, I don't know if I'd call this amazing, but I have competed in two small Mario Kart tournaments, and I got first place in both of them. There you go. Um, what's your go-to character in that? Uh, I that usually one? go with Donkey Kong. Okay. Um, why did you choose Anderson? I chose Anderson for a lot of reasons. I liked that it was close to home. Uh, I knew a lot of people on the tennis team before I even went there. Uh, I like to have seemingly everyone knows each other and it's kind of like a big family and it just seemed like the right fit for me from the first time I visited. Okay. Um, let me see. What is your favorite class at Anderson and why? Uh, my favorite classes are my calculus classes because they really challenge me and make me think hard, but I still enjoy doing the work and I might even be teaching those classes in the future. All right. And then um well as well as so like I graduated with a math major so do you do you have a do you have a favorite calc one or calc class uh I really enjoyed pre-calc and calc one calc two was a bit more of a challenge that I don't want to get back to but yeah um wh um who is your favorite professor and why my favorite professor is Dr. Trotter. He teaches some of my education classes and he's really funny and energetic. And I like that he gets to, kn to know all of his students well and jokes around with all of them. Okay, what are, your, um, what are your plans at this point in time after college? Uh, I plan on teaching some higher level math classes and being a tennis coach at some high school in Indiana. Okay. And then finally, what do you want your lasting legacy to be in Anderson? I guess I would want my lasting legacy to be that I may not be the most talented tennis player or have the best shots, but I was able to be successful because I was the hardest worker, uh, that I train hard in the off season, that I run down every ball, that I never give up on any point. Uh, Rafael Nadal says that he plays every point like it's the last point he will ever play. And I think I can truly say that I do that as well. Uh, I hope that kind of never give up mentality that I play with will be a role model for future players. So I guess that's why I want my lasting legacy to be at Anderson. All right. Um, well, th um, well, Ravens fans, thank you for tuning in. Corey, thank you for doing this interview with us. Thank um, you for having me. Be sure, be sure to follow along with more Spotlight Ravens series um, interviews. We'll have another one tomorrow, so we will see you tomorrow.